Yo, what's going on? You guys, you're both Montana, and in this video, we're going to be going over how to shut down RPOs in Madden and college football, actually. This is going to work in both games, so you guys can shut down those annoying offenses where people are running the bubblegum stuff with the RPOs. Now, before I get into it, if you guys are new to the channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, comment down below, hit that noti bell so you guys never miss an upload, and if you guys got nothing to say, comment FTA stands for the algorithm and helps push these videos to more and more people. So share the video, like the video, do whatever it is that you need to do to interact with it. We're gonna go over how to shut down RPOs. Now, very, very easy, should not be a long video. So I'm gonna go ahead and just flip the screen real quick so you guys can see what it is that we're doing. Now, I'm only gonna show you guys how to stop it out of one uh, formation because a lot of the formations, you're simply just gonna be manning up the slot receiver. That's all you're gonna have to do in a majority of these formations. To make your life 10 times easier now who you man up on that slot receiver that is up to you guys obviously uh but if you we're gonna go over a, diff, a few different formations so you guys can understand who it is that you're manning up to it what it is that you're doing and why you're doing it so we're gonna start off with a pretty much a linebacker heavy set so let's hop in three four odd which is something that i've been i've been utilizing myself in this game and it's helped me a lot so we're gonna come out and cover four quarters and we're going to come out in any kind of shotgun RPO because that seems to be some of the best RPOs in the game that a lot of people are utilizing. So we're going to start off with, I believe every trips formation has some form of it. So you see how uh, RPO alert screen out of Trey Y flex is one. You got bunch Y flex that has one uh, tight Y off. Those ones are a little bit annoying, but at the same time, the way that you man up the, the slot receiver, it's going to be the same exact thing. Uh, same thing with the Trey Y flex. Uh, is there an RPO peak? There is. Again, it, it's pretty self-explanatory on how to stop them, but I'm looking for the proper one to actually slow down. So let's just go into the RPO alert and just stop it out of bunch Y flex. It's pretty much the same concept. All you're going to want to need to do is take one of these interior guys here and man him up on the slot receiver. You can shade him down if you want to. You can individually shade him down to make your coverage better. And then if you do that, take your take whoever's in a hook, put that person in some kind of flat pattern. It doesn't matter what it is, whether you're trying to guard corner routes, because again, you also have to account for the pass in any formation that you're trying to guard. And obviously, if you're trying to stop the RPO, you have to account for both kinds of routes. So we're going to man up the, the slot. Every time you're going to man up whoever the slot receiver is. So right now we're manning up number three. And then this guy here, you're going to leave him wh wherever you want him to. He is going to play the flat. So e even if you leave him all the way out here. Now, the next step that this is something that a lot of people don't, don't talk about. We're going to take this guy. We're going to take whoever the safety is. Make sure you have help over the top. But you're going to take the safety. And you're going to bring him down. So say this guy is over here on the interior. You're going to bring this guy down here. You want him to kind of kind of make it so that they focus on that guy being the read key or the pitch key, depending on how your defense is being ran. So even if he comes back up, it doesn't even matter. You just want him kind of down there so that he ends up being one of the main focuses. The reason why that is, is so that when they try to run their RPO, uh, you know what? Let me move. Let me remove my face. So when they try to run the RPO and this guy goes towards the outside here, this guy completely gets manned up here. And then whoever's supposed to be blocking ends up targeting the safety here. So now we have one, two, three, and four guys out here to actually help stop the RPO. And it just makes your life 10 times easier. So once they actually call the RPO, this is going to be our user here. Yes, we're going to keep him in, in a blitzing angle. And now if they try to throw it, okay, granted, you've seen how many bodies we had, we, we had out there. So I'm going to show the instant replay so you guys can see it for yourself. So you see how he stays down he stays down low because he's focused on the RPO. So as soon as you see one of your opponents focusing on running RPOs, start bringing that safety down as better safety help. Make sure you have help over the top because you do have a safety that's in a deep blue. This this guy is currently in a deep blue. But if you want to deep half this outside corner, that'll help you guys out as well because you won't just jump straight to, straight towards the top and you will have that extra help. Now, again, if you see that the RPO is going mainly focusing on one side of the field, you can even overload that side of the field with low yardage flats. That's going to help you out as well. But for some reason, sometimes the flats don't work as well as you'd like them to. That's why manning the person up is going to help a lot. So I'm going to I'm going to show you guys the, the, the man up situation one more time. But I'm also going to show you guys 
the flats being at, uh, let's put the flats out at zero and the curl flats out at 25, just for the sake of the video. Now, if you guys are rocking this in any other formation, whether it be three, three penny, whether it be some kind of nickel formation, it makes it 10 times easier to stop it. Like if you're running a dime formation, you can take the slot receiver and man him up to the slot in general and then shade underneath. And then all of a sudden you're going to be able to clamp up pretty much every RPO in the game. But we're going to keep it in, you know what? Let's switch it over to 436. 4-3 even 6-1, which used to be a very, very popular formation. So let's call the RPO one, one more time. And the same concept. So we have our flats at zero. So we're going to shade un underneath and we're going to put this guy in. Well, let's put him here. Let's put him in there. And then we're going to move him down here. So again, we have our hard flat here and we have our safety out here. Now this should actually, this, this should actually slow down the play and you're simply going to utilize, you're going to user the opposite side safety, you know, especially if you're in some kind of cover four, but you should have numbers out towards the flats. But like I said, that is this exactly right here is exactly the reason why throwing these RPOs with zones will just not work that great. That this is exactly why I like manning the defenders up because I feel like we'll have more options to shut to shut it down if you have a zone out there plus you have a guy that's manned up so now we're going to put the same exact kind of situation out there bring down our safety bring down our safety user the opposite side safety and now once we try to throw that RPO as as you can see we have a man that's right there so you have to man that person up every single time if you start noticing that your opponent starts to rock some kind of RPO play in this game now obviously you're gonna use you're gonna utilize one of the opposite side people so if they're running out of trips you're gonna utilize the safety so let's let's just go ahead and audible to a trip side just so you guys can kind of get the the right look let's just see if they have a trips i know they have like a gun y flex or something like that tray y flex that's exactly what it is and i i, I don't have an a proper rpo out of this formation but typically when you guys are facing somebody that's coming out in any kind of trips for formations the only kind of rpo that works the best is the one where the slot receiver this guy here ends up going out you know what let me actually show the actual play here so this guy here he ends up going out while these guys go ahead and they block for him okay so this guy always has to have somebody that's manned up on him just to make sure that you guys are able to pretty much clamp that up so once that is the case now right now we're not calling an rpo i'm simply just showcasing the video just so you guys can get the proper look so if we're doing the same exact thing that we just did we're gonna we're gonna make sure that one of these guys let's say let's say this guy here is manned up we have a flat pattern out here and we have our safety that's coming down for the for, for that extra help and obviously rpos are run past options so you're gonna take the opposite side the the, the safety that's on the running back side because this is how they usually run it and you're gonna make sure that you're there to pretty much try to shoot a gap if that's something that they wanna do. And if they call some kind of play, you're gonna make sure that you're backed up, you're playing your coverage, and you're making sure that you're clamping up everything that's on the field. This is how you shut down RPOs. All you need to do is man up that slot receiver every time and you'll clamp them up. And also, manning up the slot receiver, manning up the slot receiver also helps so that if they're running any kind of like hitch plays, if they're kind of running any type of corners, especially on the wide side of the field, you'll end up having a man in the vicinity to actually make a play on the ball if that's something that you're looking to stop. So again, one more time, we're gonna take, we're actually just gonna take Bolton and we're gonna man him up. We're gonna take the safety, bring him down and we're gonna take the opposite side safety and we're gonna pretty much user him instead of using anybody else. And if they try to run the RPO, we should have, we should have numbers out there to actually clamp it up, shut it down and make sure that these kinds of plays are no longer ran on your field. My name is Pony Montana. Hopefully you guys appreciate this video. If you guys have any other help on how to stop RPOs, leave it down in the comment section. I'm sure there are a lot of people that will love the help. So again, help. That's what I'm doing. So make sure you guys help too if you guys have a better way to stop it. My name is Pony Montana. As always, two fingers, deuces, and peace out, you guys.